annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And a happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there as we look ahead to two more games later today and then a full slate coming up this weekend. Good matchups all up and down the schedule there. We'll highlight the one in Cincinnati. A big test coming up for the Bengals as they'll have to contend with the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. In the late afternoon games, all eyes will be on Las Vegas. A glitzy matchup there where it'll be the Raiders taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Finally on Monday night, Cyber Monday. Put the credit card away and settle in for Bears and Vikings from U.S. Bank Stadium. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. They are just about set to get back to football in Detroit. And for the call of the second half, we'll kick it back up to Ford Field and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Here's Jones again on second down. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Here's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Now a first down carry by Jones. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. They'll throw again. Here's Love on second and ten. His throw incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle him and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Third down, Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as he'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. Love now. Quick slant to Watson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football catch it as well and he didn't get that done on that play and he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line they give him seven yards on the play and they do pick up the conversion on third down and they'll keep on the ground with Jones trying to run inside but nothing there 
Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, it's Jones. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions' 13-yard line. 32 yards rushing for him now to this point. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, love to throw. And he lost the football. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Out route, he finds his man, it's Jones. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. And this is caught at the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Reynolds, 52 yards. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, they had gone to run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit, and they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described, they ran into the previous play, come back with the same action, and now they step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear Coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? But this time, the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving. And he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. Nixon elects not to return it. And this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Second down, another shot for Jones. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Jack White. Jack White. Ready. Go. 
to pass. Here's Jordan Love. And he is caught. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. That stop made by Jack Campbell. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play fake. Here's Love. This pass caught. It's Dobbs with it. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. We're on to the fourth here on Thanksgiving Day. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Here's second and 10. They'll run wide side with Jones. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Packers look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the return will stop right around the 25. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. If you make a big play like that. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Jack Campbell make that now eight sacks for him on the season. They go bootleg. Love. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Aiden Hutchinson in there to drop him in sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. An inside give to Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this will remain an 18-point lead. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing on third. Goff. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. Louis, Louis, Louis. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he is going to have the Lions first down. And that wasn't easy, but they do wind up converting a fourth and seven to keep this drive moving. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Second and ten. Here we go, here we go. They'll fake the give. Now Goff on the move to his left. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 23. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Brought down at the 20. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. And this is caught at the eight. And in for the Lions touchdown. Brock Wright, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Lions have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. 98 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and four. Ready, go. They'll go again to Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. When they practiced for this back in training camp, they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. 
trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. So they make the decision to kick it on fourth and inches. That close, and they decide not to go for it. Well, but short of going for it, I think they got as good of a result as they could have gotten. Yeah, if you're not going to go for it in that situation, yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for. He'll buy some time right. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Goff on first down. Buying time to his left. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Off play action. Here's Goff. Rolling to his right. That is caught by Laporta. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Goff throwing again. Packer pressure, and down he goes. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Packers D comes up with a big stop. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, with they about 95% chance of Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. Yeah, and knowing that the defensive guys are coming after the ball so they want to knock it free. On third down, Love setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. Whistles in a timeout at the 2.05 mark. So this defense wanting to get one more pause in before the two-minute warning, and they do just that. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They'll come up first and ten here. Play action. It's gone. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. 
Back to throw. Golf. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. 17, 17, 17. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Jones, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It will be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Again, it's Jones, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.